jobs in Atlanta, and if the if the guy that came, if the guy that preceded you, for example, whoever, really yeah. killed and really got us like all fired up, and we're already in that brother Quick talk. Little update uh, for everyone on my my brother's health and everything. So basically, he had he had a fall that caused a broken leg, pretty badly broken leg, and then uh, hit his head really hard. And this was a few weeks ago. Uh, got his leg taken care of. They didn't think the head thing was that big a deal. Did some scans and whatnot. And then released him back out into the world. A couple weeks after that, uh, just one day out of nowhere, you know, his leg's healing pretty much fine. Uh, and his head just starts killing him. And he stops being able to put words together. Like he would want to say he had, he was hungry for lunch and he just, he couldn't get the right words out. It was just a word salad, a mishmash. So they took him back to the hospital, uh, the emergency room that time, because he was he was he couldn't string more than a couple words together. He was freaking out about how much his head hurt. Uh, and they went in. Turns out that he had a subdural hematoma that was getting worse, frankly, on his brain, on his you know left hemisphere of his brain, which is responsible for your speech and ability to write and stuff like that. And so I, I visited him in the hospital for uh, the first day of that. He was uh, he was doing not not great at all uh trying to talk to him i'd say something like hey how are you feeling and the only thing he could say is i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine but he did he wasn't fine he obviously wasn't you'd try and ask like oh is the food uh good here you know trying to make a joke about hospital food and he'd be like oh the food is the food i'm fine i'm fine i'm like that kind of thing where it's like and i could see in his eyes he understands what I'm asking. He knows what I'm asking, and he's getting frustrated on his own to the point that he's just going, whatever, whatever. And that was another word he could say. And then the next day I go back and talk to him again uh, during the day and then come back to do PKA, and I got some some further bad news uh, that it made me quit the show. I had to go run out. And so for that evening and the following day after, it was just terrifying. Like, it's, like he had had... like they were really getting concerned about this pressure on his brain. It wasn't like, a, uh, when is, how long is it going to take to get better? It was like, a, Oh fuck. I hope there's a way to get this better, you know? And then they put him on a super amount of steroids. And then the following day after that, uh, Oh, one thing like that was troubling is like, I, I was working on him that last day before he started getting better. Uh, and this is all over the course of like a few days where I sat down with them with like a pen and paper. And it was like a pad, like a legal pad, and on it was like all the times that he'd written his name incorrectly and X'd out until eventually there were a couple of him writing it right. Like him writing blues or St. Louis or Chicago or Arizona. And we sat there for a while and like it was during the afternoon. And I was like, all right, let's do a little writing. And he was like, okay, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I, you gave it to him and I'm like, all right, write, write Chicago. He spends a lot of time in Chicago. He should know how to spell Chicago, but like, and he knows, he knows how to say it, but like he like would write a C and like, look at me and be like, yeah, yeah, that's good. Write an H I I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd write a G and I go, no. And he go, look at it really quizzitively like exit out. Then write C H I G A C O. And I'm like, no, you're writing Chicago. <clears throat> it's Chicago, not Chicago. And it was like, it was not, getting in there with him and it was only the day after that and then now the past couple days have been great like his recovery has been so 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 good he pretty much now you call him he sounds totally normal he's still on all the drugs and everything by no means out of the woods but he sounds fine he understands things he can write correctly he's cogent uh he was horrified all like his him explaining to me like the feeling of being trapped in your own prison of a body and like not being able to say what you want to say and having people have to guess things, it sounds terrifying to me. Absolutely terrifying. Because like, what? imagine that. What do you do? You're sitting there. You can move around. You're with it. People are asking you questions that you know the answer to, and you can't put the words together and put them out. Like, it it was re really, really scary for our whole family. You know, still is. But I appreciate everybody's well wishes on uh, on Reddit and Twitter. That was really, really kind to everyone. That means a lot. It's really sweet of you. Uh, so, yeah, just know everything's looking up right now. Very, very much looking up. Went through a really, really scary little uh, patch there, but it's it's looking much better. So there's there's the brief little recap for everybody. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. we're very worried about you. I'm, I'm